it's Maria from SEI Crafts. We manufacture iron-ons in the United States and today I am going to give you some tips and tricks for using our iron-ons. Tip number one is follow the directions. Every package of iron-ons has directions on the back and there are several different kinds. We have glitter, we have flock, we have polyvinyl. So you want to make sure to follow the directions that are on the specific type of iron-on you're using. One thing that I did not realize is that pressing is different than ironing. I thought it was just another name for ironing. However, when you're pressing with iron-ons, you need to make sure that you're working on a hard flat surface. Usually an ironing board works just fine for me. However, if you have a large flat piece of wood, that would be even better. When you press, you're going to place your iron directly down on the spot, pushing hard, then lift up the iron and place it on the next area. You don't want to move your iron around. We recommend that you experiment on a scrap piece of fabric similar to the fabric that you'll be using. That way you can try it out on something that's not so special to you. You can use iron-ons with any type of material that can withstand the heat of an iron. So your really delicate fabrics are probably not the best option. You can ruin the fabric with the heat of an iron. One thing maybe you hadn't thought of is you can actually iron onto wood or chipboard, things like that, that can withstand the heat of an iron, not just fabric. Some people are concerned about our backing. They think that it's going to melt onto their iron. However, it is a heat resistant backing and it is safe to use with an iron. As long as your iron is at the heat that we recommend on the packaging and you don't hold it down for longer than we recommend, you won't have any problems. And if you're still concerned about this, there's no problem also placing a piece of paper between the iron. It's totally fine if the heat resistant backing wrinkles up a little bit, that's normal. If for some reason your iron-on does come up a little bit on one of the corners when it goes through the wash, just grab an iron and heat it up again and it will re-adhere. Sometimes you might not have used enough pressure or enough heat or held it for long enough and so it didn't quite adhere well enough, but these are designed to be permanent and washable. Now I'm going to go through each different type of iron-on that we have and give some tips specific to that kind. Okay, first we have our iron-on sheet. You can cut whatever design you want out of our iron-on sheets. Trace something on the backing and cut it out. If you are tracing onto the backing, you won't need to reverse it. If you're using a cutting machine, turn it the other way so the adhesive side is up. So you will need to do your design in reverse. I'm often asked what setting to use on your cutting machine. It's hard to know because every cutting machine is different. You're going to be cutting deeper than most things you'll cut. Next up we have our flock. For our flock iron-ons, peel off each letter that you want to use, arrange them how you want, then press firmly for 15 to 20 seconds. Then I like to turn my shirt inside out and iron on the other side for another 15 to 20 seconds just to make sure it's on there really well. Sometimes on the flock letters, people think that they have been printed backwards but they're not. You can see once you peel off the letter, you can see that it's printed correctly. This side is the flock side and the other side is the adhesive side. Make sure the adhesive side goes against the shirt or whatever you're ironing. The flock ones have kind of a fuzzy surface. Our polyvinyl iron-ons are smoother than the flock iron-ons. Rough cut the letters from the sheet, leaving enough backing to peel off later. Then press it with an iron. Make sure that the backing side is up. Let them cool for 15 to 20 seconds, and then you can gently peel away the backing. Turn the article inside out and press firmly on the inside. Gently peel off the letters. And make sure that your glitter side is up. We include a sheet of film in our glitter letters to place over top of your letters while you're ironing them and make sure to press firmly for 45 seconds. The glitter do take the longest amount of time to adhere. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you found these tips helpful for your next iron-on project.